Will hydrogen cars overtake electric cars? When it comes to alternatives to fuel-powered cars, electric cars have surpassed hydrogen cars. And this has been the case for about a decade now. However, with recent technological advancements, could hydrogen cars be re-entering the market as a threat to both electric and fuel-powered cars? Find out by sticking to the end of this video. So before we give in to the nitty-gritty of electric cars versus hydrogen cars, why don't we do a retrospective on the entire auto industry? This will give us an idea of how far the industry has come, how far it has to go, and what the present situation is. Although there has been experimentation with steam-powered in the century before, the first cars were invented in the late 1800s by France and Germany. The efforts were led by companies by VW and BMW. The technology soon arrived in the USA, where by 1920, companies like General Motors, Ford and Chrysler perfected what the Germans and French had built. By the time the Second World War arrived, each of these companies lent their technology to their respective nations. However, by the time the dust settled, Japan emerged as the number one automaker in the world. And so the situation has been for decades now. In all this time, the type of engine used by these automakers has been an internal combustion engine. It works on the principle of burning up fossil fuels such as petrol or diesel to generate motor activity. There have been so many variants of the internal combustion engine thus far, and each better than the last. As of now though, the internal combustion engine is in its final days. Even though people have tried to come up with alternatives such as solar-powered cars and whatnot, the drive to come up with a serious alternative to the internal combustion engine only started to pick up steam a couple of decades ago. And it wasn't the price of oil that did it, nor was it its difficulty to obtain. Rather, it was the harmful effects of fossil fuels on the environment. And so, to combat this new global menace, research and development teams began to look into alternatives to the fossil fuel-driven internal combustion engine. While many concepts failed, electric cars powered by rechargeable batteries, as well as hydrogen cars powered by chemical reactions, came to be the frontrunners. But for hydrogen cars, the path into the market was far from smooth. While spurred on by companies such as Tesla, electric cars came to gain some measure of relevance. Hydrogen cars were left behind. The issue was the technology behind them was not as solid. They had so many problems as well as limited range. The energy efficiency of these cars was horrible, being less than 40%. And so, many hydrogen car startups failed, while others moved into hybrid production. However, there have been some interesting developments lately that could give hydrogen cars the push they need. With worldwide governments paying more attention to issues of environmental destruction and sustainability, there has been an influx of government funds and grants towards the areas of tech research and development. Some of this money is sure to arrive in the pocket of hydrogen cell researchers who have been working endlessly to improve the infrastructure. Once this happens, it won't be a stretch to imagine that some kind of breakthrough is made that makes the technology far more cost-efficient and energy-efficient. Then, maybe, hydrogen cars will finally give electric cars a run for their money. Electric cars are not perfect, neither are they that far behind of the competition. Lithium-ion batteries, which power those EVs, have their limitations. So much so that the biggest EV companies, such as Tesla, are looking to come up with alternatives. There has been the development of lithium metal batteries, as well as a revisitation of hybrid concepts. In any case, both EVs and hydrogen cars have come a long way in such a short time. The competition between these two technologies is healthy as they push each other to be better. While EVs have sped far ahead of the competition, a single breakthrough can be all hydrogen cars need to make a comeback. Stranger things have happened yet. Coming to the end of this video, we hope you've come to appreciate hydrogen cars and their place in the industry. Though some pretty important technological advancements have been made lately, it's still too early to call anything. If you'd like to learn more though, then check out other videos on this channel. Until next time, take care.